Hey fellow trash pandas! Wait, that's the wrong channel. If you like gaming and live streams, join me on my gaming channel, Raging Raccoon Gaming. Link will be down below. Hey Greens, and welcome to another video where I am peer pressured by you to open yet another fidget toy that is absolutely viral on the internet right now. And we're talking about Squirkies. Let's just not start with how the name just feels weird to say, but we're gonna say it anyways. I've been tagged all over different kinds of social media on these fidget toys because they're fidget toy pets. And as you can see here on my desk, we have nine different ones. We do have a couple of variations with different colors because I'm curious whether or not the colors offer a different experience or if it's purely aesthetic. Now I don't know too much about them because I avoid looking at spoilers so I want to experience it and have my own genuine reaction but they are not that expensive technically for a fidget toy. They're about five dollars US each plus six percent tax plus twenty dollars shipping which is this much in US and we convert it to Canadian is this much. Thank you editor for doing all the math. But I have to say these are absolutely adorable and pretty unique fidget toys. We've done everything from weird fidget toys, unique fidget toys, Toys, mystery box fidget toys, and a little bit of everything. If you're curious, I'll leave a playlist down below. And we can see in the back it says 30 plus to collect. The ones already in the back are adorable, but I have to say we picked up everything at the store. Okay, when I say we, it's Ace of Clay. So thank you, Ace of Clay, for sending these to me. I really appreciate it. If you're into absolutely adorable sculptures and amazing handiwork, I'll leave his link down below. So unfortunately, we couldn't find the other ones. But let me know which one of these is your favorite in the comment section below. I'm curious if we're going to see a pamphlet on the inside of all 30, or if it's actually less than that, but there's just color variations. I see you. And while you're down there, Make sure you click on all notifications when you subscribe. Otherwise, I do wave sharp pointy things, but then again, that's kind of our thing now. We love it here. It's not a video unless I do it. <laughs> I know that many of you love gaming and anime just like me, which is why I am absolutely happy to talk about today's sponsor, Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is a beautiful open world game on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, iOS, Android, and PC. In Genshin Impact, you will explore a wondrous world and seek answers from the seven gods of each element. Guiding you throughout the game is Paimon. Paimon has become a sort of mascot for the game and is not just adorable, but also accompanies you, the player, in the world of Teyvat. And if you've ever heard this meme, Ah yes, the famous Then chances are you've already met Paimon. Genshin Impact has also taken part in New Year Comic Con this year. And if you've noticed, they were booth 4118. Have you noticed them? Since this event is really close to Genshin's second year anniversary, happy anniversary! It's the perfect time to get involved in the game. If you had a chance to check out their booth, you would notice they gave out some really sweet freebies, such as Paimon wigs and cool posters. So why are we celebrating Paimon, you ask? Because Paimon is the one and only icon of Genshin Impact. This cute little mascot will accompany you whether you are fishing or needing help as a traveler. Because Paimon deserves a little more love, we are celebrating this Genshin icon right now and I invite you to join me. All you have to do is take a selfie posing like Paimon, post it on Twitter with the hashtag being Genshin icon, and it's that simple. Of course, I'll be looking through the hashtag and liking your pictures. And why not check out the beautiful world of Genshin Impact and download with my link down below as well as the pinned comment. Remember that supporting our sponsors also is a huge support on the channel. Again, the link will be in description box below as well as the pinned comment. Thank you Genshin Impact for sponsoring today's video. All right, so I think let's go ahead and start with the most basic ones. Let's go with the dog and the cat. Let's move the rest on the side over here. It's just gonna... Gently move them over there. And let's start with the kitty cat or the doggy. Which one? Do kitty. <laughs> and the box itself. Oh, okay. This is made by Moose Toys, which is the same company that distributes the Real Littles. We have a whole playlist of Real Littles as well. I will link it down below. It tells us we can move the tail, click the nose, and turn the ears. I like that because some of the fidget toys that we've tried, it's just like, you figure it out, we ain't gonna tell you what you gotta do, and then I have the comments yelling at me. Jackie, you should have done this. And I'm like, I didn't know. I'm just a baby. I'm just trying. Okay, don't yell at me. <laughs> you break them heart, you're gonna make them cry. Look at all the rain. Now, oh, now it's raining cats and dogs all of a sudden. Why? I didn't know that. <laughs> And again, it says Squirkies Fidget Pets Full of Fun. I kept calling them Squirties. That's why the name choice is a little interesting to me. And again, we can get all these cute little animals. I really wanted the jellyfish. 
This one was nowhere to be found as of recording. And the scorpion is so cute, the axolotl as well. But, you know, we still have quite a bit from this collection, so I'm curious to try it out. And I don't want to touch it because I want my first experience to be with you. you. See, that's how much I love you. I'm a little shy. My cheeks get a little rosy, but I do love you. And let's see, do we open it from here or do we go savage mode? Clearly savage mode. So I'm curious to see all 30 collectibles, if they're really just color variations or if they're actually 30 different ones. So already we can see that we have the chameleon in two different colors, the cat, turtle, monkey, the pop tube, the snake, axolotl fish. Yeah, so it's 15 to collect, but two color variations of each. There you go. And they also have a metallic version and also a glow-in-the-dark version. Apparently there's a golden monkey, but apparently it's in a mystery pack. I didn't know they had mystery packs. I'm a sucker for mystery boxes, but I'm glad we have the ones we can see right now. All right. Oh, this is so tiny. This is so small. What's this? Okay, I thought this thing clicked. So here's what the back looks like. Here's the bottom. <gasps> Wait. The bottom of the feet actually move? That's brilliant. That is amazing. Okay, let's see the bottom. Oh. Ah, <gasps> got goosebumps. Not only are these adorable, but these are so small. You can put them in your pocket. Oh my God. Oh, the sound and the, the tiny resistance. Tiny. Oh my God, listen. Ah. <gasps> Okay, then we have the ears. Oh, oh, it moves. Okay, does it do anything else? Does it rotate? No, I think it just has texture and it moves the eyes back and forth. Does it click? Does it rotate? The answer is no, but it is cute. It moves the eyes. And I'm pretty sure they said we could do something with the nose click. Oh, it's a silent click. So you have noise and quiet. And it does feel like a spring, so it has that nice spring, like the top of the pen, without the actual click. So it is very quiet. There's so much to do in this little thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. And at $5, you just buy a bunch of these in stocking stuffers? Not sponsored, not affiliated. But holy shrimp, I love this. Oh, kitty, you have made my day. I love you. <laughs> You're gonna stay here now. You gonna stay? Be good? No. <laughs> All right, up next is the dog, and this one is called a pop tube pup. So it looks like we can fidget with the ears, pull the actual body, and also play around with the tongue. The squirkies, not squirties, okay? Just compose yourself. Pose yourself. I am mature. I'm very mature. Look at me. I'm a mature. I have a mustache, and then a monocle, and a top hat. I love my mustache. Very nice. Very mature. <laughs> And again, it says the same thing. We don't have anything different in the back. Let's go savage mode. Okay, so our doggy is quite light colored. So let's go ahead and add our little felt. Okay. Let's see the bottom. So the bottoms are different. That is interesting. So this one has a bottom that can turn, even though it didn't say, I don't think it said it on the box. Editor, did it? Nope. But okay, we have different parts. I wonder if we can do anything with the tail, but let's not yet. Let's not touch the tail. Let's see the pop tube, because these are my favorites. Okay. Very simple. It doesn't have that satisfactory brrrr sound. Let me show you. So normally with a pop tube, you'll get a sound that's like this. Kind of crunchy. See that? Let's hear it a little closer to you. Whereas this one, it's more of a muffled kind of crunch, which is still okay. I mean, it still is puttable in your pocket, which I, I really love that. All right, let's check the ears. Oh, okay. So we have the ears that go up and down. This is very nice. This is an absolutely wonderfully mindless fidgeting and kind of obnoxious. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then the tongue, what do we do? What, what the, what the heck? What is this? Is it just up and down? Not sure I'm crazy about the puppy. How about the tail? Nothing, no way. That's a missed opportunity. I know some of you are going to say, but you can pull the tail 
for the pop tube that actually really hurts you can see the indents on my finger because it's not a comfortable grip so you do have to hold it from the thighs I have to say the dog doesn't offer as much you could look at the pilot dog <laughs> I'm sorry. but yeah I feel like mm, the dog is not offering us as much as the cat the tongue thing is a little weird I would have liked for the tongue to be a little stretchy kind of like a monkey noodle that would have been great and then the tongue could have you know moved the eyes that would have been kind of cool but yeah you know what I'm going to rate these I'm going to give the cat so cute I'm going to give the cat a solid 9 on 10 the dog I'm going to give 5.5 on 10 let me know your ratings by the way in the comments I'm always excited to hear what your opinions are it's not just my opinions that matter okay yours does too next let us do monkey and this one is cheeky pop monkey <gasps> it has a bum bum is that a bum bum it has a bum bum no way i didn't know i was gonna get that excited about bum bums today but apparently yes we get very excited about bum bums i like that squirkies that is playful i like that i see you i see you so we have the bum bums here we have the ears and then bum bum again oh that's the tail is the tail going to be different than the cat that is the question the back looks exactly the same and let's go ahead and find out. And here's a little cheeky monkey. Are y'all ready for this? Because I didn't know I was ready for this until now. Let's turn the monkey around. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is so perfect. So we have the bum bums, we have the ear. And, oh, too bad. That is too bad. How come the cat has an extra layer of fidgeting at the bottom, but the other ones don't? That's an interesting question, and I would like an answer. Definitely corporate people email me. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and start with the ears. They said we can move. Oh, what the, what the heck? What do we do? Okay, 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 I get it. So it's a kind of a spring back and forth, which is nice, but... I feel like the positioning is a little awkward because how do you hold this here? There you go. So you would have to fidget with it this way. Does it actually do anything to the eyes? And the answer is no. What moves the eyes then? Okay, let's try the tail. Maybe it's the tail. Oh, it is. Oh, it's the same resistance as the cat. So let's do that proper. Very nice. Let's hear the sound. No, this one sounds nicer. This one's a bit higher pitch, and this is a bit lower pitch. Okay, but the eyes do move though. Look at that, side to side. And the nose does not click, by the way, whereas the cat's nose does. And there's room for clicking. See? This is interesting. All right, let's do the puppets. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The ears are going to bring them back, right? Yes. I get it. So when you push the puppet, the way to bring them back, that is brilliant. That is good. Oh, I like that a lot. That changes everything now. So now you have, there you go. I wanna do this again. Not only do you have an obnoxious fidget if you wanna be noisy and do this, but it also serves as a functional bringing your puppet back. There you go. I like that a lot. I like monkey better than dog, but the cat still rules. So I'm gonna give this still a solid eight on 10. You cute monkey, very cute. And then we have a turtle called Toggle's Turtle. It looks so cute and shy. I see a lot of buttons, so I don't know what they're going to do just yet, but it seems like we can move the tail, we can rotate the head, and we can press the button, okay? Again, the back, still the exact same thing. I really hope they come with a series two of this, or at least if I can get my hands on the other ones, that would be absolutely wonderful. Here is our little to oh my god you're so cute in the packaging it kind of looked like it was hidden but okay let's start oh oh okay all the buttons are pressable not this one okay so you have three buttons you have top side and the other side does the bottom turn no just the cat okay the head here what the heck what the shrimp can i do anything with this no okay the tail what does that do Oh, it's a switch. 
Okay, I can see that. So this is up and down. Very nice. I don't get the head though. I guess kind of like a controller. It's just the placement is weird because you have all these buttons on the side. So when you want to squeeze and move the head, the buttons are in the way. There's a design flaw on the turtle, unfortunately. I don't like it. It's supposed to be, I guess, like the controller analog side of the fidget cube, but it's not quite doing that satisfaction or satisfying appeal. Definitely don't like this. And this is one of the only ones so far that the eyes don't move. Do you do anything? See, these are so annoying. They're so in the way. I'm just trying to touch everything else and it's just popping. See, trying to move the switch here. You have to hold it from here and you're still pressing the buttons. I don't like the turtle. As cute as it is, I'm going to have to give the turtle probably a, a 4 on 10. Sorry turtle, I love turtles, I promise. They didn't do you justice. They did not. Nope, I don't like this. <sighs> Time for Snek. S-N-E-K. Snake. And this snake is called Squiggly Snake. Now, if this is anything like the twisties that I've tried in previous videos and fell absolutely in love with, then we're on the right track here. And oh, there you go. Now we have a tongue that we can pull and then the body that we can twist and apparently we can rotate the eyes. All right, let's see if that's what it is or if it even offers more than just what they say. So it's monkey noodle and a snake. Wait, what, why wasn't there a monkey noodle on the monkey? I mean, instead of having the exact same thing as the cat, why couldn't this be a monkey noodle? It's a monkey with no monkey noodle. What? It's a question for the ages. Oh, Snick, I am so excited for you. All right, first things first, let's go ahead. Yes. We have a nice tongue that we can pull. Even look at the texture. So they even took the time to make the tongue look like an actual tongue. I know it's not anatomically speaking a snake fork tongue, but that's okay. It's a toy. <laughs> and we can turn the eyes. Oh, listen to that. It's very quiet, but there's a little bit of a sound. There you go. So you can fidget quietly with this. The other eye, same thing. And they're all still really small, just to give you an idea. Here's my finger, here's the snack, okay? Here's the cat, pretty small. All right, and let's try the twisties. Oh, yes. Oh my God, that is fun. This is mindless fidgeting, which is very relaxing, which is one of my favorites. And of course, you can try and make it so that it stands or sits as straight as possible. You can rotate it. Oh, the no. Oh. <gasps> The head also makes a fidget sound. Brilliant! There are surprise fidgets! So this one and the cat had surprise activities included. So you can move the head. That is amazing. Oh my god, I love you. Yeah, this is cute. This, I love. Snick, you are one of my favorites. So I'm going to also give this one a 9 on 10. Oh my god. That is cute. Loose toys, hire me. I have fidget toy ideas. I could be a consultant. Listen, just listen. But yeah, the character design is absolutely adorable and love the little extra eyebrow, not sure why. Snicks don't have eyebrows, do they? I don't think so, but it's cute. I really like also the texture of this one. So yeah, you're staying with me. And then here we have Curly Chameleon. I love the colors on this one. Again, I do have a second one with different colors. So we're gonna be testing out the different colors to see if there is anything actually worth it or if you just pick up your own preferred color because why would you need two of the same thing if they're doing the exact same thing? So here, apparently we can play with the tail, we have the eyes and then, oh, the tongue, okay. So we're getting a little repetitive here. I really want this one. And I'm curious about the butterfly as well and the scorpion. I really want to get all of them. And here she is. I love the colors on this one. The eyes are absolutely gigantic. Oh my God, there's spikes. What do you do with this? <gasps> Wait. They didn't mention this. Okay, let's go with what they mentioned first. You can uncurl the tail. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, this is perfect mindless because it's a nice soft vinyl texture, kind of like an eraser. And you can just uncurl it and curl it. This is very, very relaxing. I like that. It's kind of like if you have a hoodie and you fidget with the actual strings, it has that same kind of relaxing feeling. So I like that a lot. 
and it curls on its own, so I like that. That's a nice touch. Then we have the tongue. Oh, this one actually retracts. Does it do anything to the eyes? And the answer is no. I like that. See, they could have done something like that for the dog. They could have done anything. I mean, the dog has its tongue out, and all it does is this. <laughs> oh, that looks so wrong. No, no. I'm not comfortable anymore. <laughs> Oh yeah, this one is retractable, which is wonderful. And then we have the eyes. They said they could do something with the eyes. Oh, okay, they rotate. There you go. It's a little difficult to rotate, so you don't. You have to rotate it away from the eye. If you touch the eye, it's a little slippery, so you have to go a little bit over or under. Again, same kind of small sound. There you go. And then here, this is extra. What's this do? Oh. Oh! I didn't even notice that. So you can pull the tongue on its own. Or you can make it quiet and just press the button on top. I have to admit though, the spikes on top are a little uncomfortable. They are made of the hard plastic. But if they were made with the soft plastic or eraser type material like the tail, then it wouldn't be as unpleasant to touch and it would have an extra texture that you can actually just move your hand across. But unfortunately they made it with the hard plastic, so it is a little unpleasant, but that is cute. Look at the bleh, 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 bleh. Yeah, I love the bleh. This is cute. This is very cute. Just the spikes are annoying. And it still doesn't turn at the bottom. Kitty cat, you have giveth. You have put my expectations up, but still cute. I'm going to give it a solid 8.5. Now we have three different color variations of the ones we've already opened. So let's go ahead and go through them really quickly. So here we have the dog and we have the purple version. So I guess, I guess it has eyelashes, which is extra. And the design looks extra. No, that's the kitty cat. What am I talking about? This is the kitty cat. Okay, let's compare them because clearly there's a few design differences other than just the color. So first things first, the cat is purple versus orange. And then we have little markings on the face. This one is just a solid orange. Eyelashes versus no eyelashes. Sides, we have different markings as well. But it seems like the fidgeting is the same for the ears. The nose, silent clicks, oh, hang on, let's get them both the same. So there you go, silent clicks. We have the swivel at the bottom. And then let's hear this one. And that one. Okay, so they're the exact same thing for these ones, just really different overall look. I have to say, I like both of them. Now I understand why they want you to collect all different variations, but I feel like I would only want one. And if I had to choose, I would probably go with a solid color. Which one would you take? Now let's go with the turtle that was very underwhelming, especially I like turtles and turtle type creatures. And for the design, again, we have eyelashes versus no eyelashes. In terms of the colors, there aren't that many differences in the patterns. They're just green shell, yellow, purple buttons versus pink, and still same weird head movement. Gosh, I don't, I don't get it. What if I, am I gonna break it? No. Yeah, and just bad placement of the buttons. Same thing, and the click of the tail. It's just bad design, because I'm trying to click this. Where do I hold it from? I have to press the buttons and then I can click, which is annoying because you have to keep a pressure going, which starts adding pressure on your joints. So that is annoying. So as cute as the turtles may be, still not my favorite. And the variation really doesn't offer anything extra versus the cat ones. Next variation we have is the chameleon. I really love this color, but this one's really cute too. So let's see the difference. I really appreciate how so many of you are concerned about my room and how messy it is. The answer is yes, it is quite messy. And yes, I do get help cleaning it up. <laughs> okay, interesting. These color variations actually both come with little eyelashes. What other difference is there? Okay, this one is more of a gradient. So the colors kind of blend into each other. Oh, there's a little defect over here, a little bit of a, a scuff. Whereas this one actually looks like drizzle or paint drops or maybe cake frosting kind of look. So you have gradient versus frosting. Let's see the twirl, very nice, still very cute, good quality. The click for the tongue, yep, still very nice. And the eye is twirling, let's hear that sound. 
Yeah, exactly the same. The chameleon really doesn't offer anything different, only just aesthetic. So I'm going to have to say that instead of them saying collect all 30 or there's 30 varieties, the answer is no, there's just 15 maybe, and then there's different colors. That's it. And so finally, here are the Squirkies. If I can get more, I definitely will try to find the ones that we couldn't get our hands on. But let me know in the comment section below which one of these is your favorite. Overall, as a product that is portable and for $5 only compared to other fidget toys where we pay $10 for each one, have actually impressed me. I'm really happy with these, except for some designs. Yes, we're looking at you. If you want to watch more fidget toy reviews, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something crafty, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.